Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you the makeup that I wore to my maternity shoot yesterday. I used some really great products. These all lasted so well in the heat. There was like no breeze at all. I was sweating, Davis was sweating. It was so hot. We ended up getting some really good photos. I can't wait to share them with you guys. If you want to see them, then definitely check out my Instagram. That's where they'll be posted first. But I wanted to share this makeup look with you. I was gonna try to film it yesterday before we went out, but we got caught in some traffic. We're completely pushed back. And once we got home, I had to like hurry because I had like an hour to get ready, <laughs> which is not enough time. But yeah, I definitely wanted to share the makeup look with you guys. It isn't super difficult or anything too mind-blowing but I really like the makeup products that I use some of them you haven't seen me use before and I can just talk about different things one of them you have seen me use and a lot of you're gonna be like that looks so much better now than it did then and you'll know what I'm talking about when we get there but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was so fun yesterday I'm actually super exhausted I think it's because we were out all day like just preparing for the shoot like getting outfits and stuff like that we did vlog so um, that vlog will be up after this video if you guys want to check that out I'll leave that channel down below in the description box so anyways if you guys want to see the makeup look that I did yesterday a great heat proof makeup look for summer it was like 90 something degrees definitely keep watching and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit that post notification bell that way you guys are notified every single time I upload a video without further ado let's just go ahead and get started okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put my bandana in I am so tired oh my gosh yesterday was such a long day especially after that shoot we came home and we were like out <laughs> we were so tired um, because of the heat my feet were so swollen I've hit that point in pregnancy where my feet are incredibly swollen. Yeah, I've been soaking my feet like every night, elevating them. They are struggling. First thing that I did is I applied primers and believe it or not, I actually started with my face first just because I didn't know how much time I was gonna have. So I wanted to be sure that I had a really great base to go off of. So I did just use my regular primers, which is the Tatcha Silk Canvas and the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose Spray. And I love these. I use the spray first and then this on top. And it just really works well for my skin. I love them together. They also look really pretty together. Like they just kind of coordinate. But yeah, I love this stuff. I've also used up one completely, which was the coconut one and it is so good. And then for foundation, I did use the It Cosmetics Confidence in a foundation. This is what it looks like. The shades I used were tan nude and a little bit of medium natural mixed into it. And I will be taking my e.l.f. sponge to blend this out. So I'm just going to take a couple pumps of tan nude and like one pump of medium natural. This is a really great full coverage foundation that doesn't look heavy on the skin. I believe I did a video on this one. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that I did. And it just looks really great on the skin. I wanted to use it again because I remember thinking that I loved this foundation, but I couldn't remember why because I haven't used it like a lot because since we moved from New York to Georgia and we've just been so busy I haven't had a chance to like get back into other stuff that I really really loved before before we moved and like things that I tried out this was a great time to try it we got to see if it was heat proof and it definitely lasts really really well I'm just going to apply this all over it really does give you a gorgeous smooth finish and it is nice and full coverage so this is one of those full coverage foundations I'll definitely be going to this summer. Another really great foundation is the L'Oreal Infallible one. I think it's the, is it called Fresh Wear? I think it's called the Fresh Wear, but that one is so good in the heat too. I want to do like a drugstore makeup look that lasts in the heat because that one is one of my favorite foundations that I was using constantly. So that's what the foundation looks like. I really love the way it makes my skin look. I, it just looks very healthy, you know, for a full coverage foundation. And now I'm gonna use concealer. So I did just use the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I mixed these two shades, tan walnut and medium sand. Tan walnut's a little bit darker. Um, I didn't want too highlighted of an under eye. So I just mixed this one, which is the shade Tan Walnut. Then I took a little bit of medium sand just to brighten it up and give us that highlighted effect. There's that, we'll use it right in there and right in the center. Because I do feel like Tan Walnut does the oxidize and so it gets a little bit darker and it needs something a little bit lighter just to bring it back to life. And then I'm going to blend it out with my sponge. We had so much fun yesterday. So we just went to a local area downtown because I wanted to mimic 
one photo from our engagement shoot to have for like pregnancy and then when little man's here we could recreate this one specific photo over again and then after that we'll change locations <laughs> but it was so pretty. We got there at sunset and I saw some sneak peeks this morning and they look so good. I cannot wait to see all of them and share them with you guys. I definitely can see why they say to like do maternity shoots early because oh my gosh, you hit that point of everything swelling, it's so hot, but it was definitely worth it. Like we had to push back this shoot a little bit due to some stuff popping up, but I'm glad we got it over with. That was like one of the things I really wanted done. The dress I wore too was from Amazon. And I actually really liked it. I wish that the flap was a little bit shorter in the front to show a little bit more of the belly. But um, I, I got some dresses from Show Me Your Moo Moo. And they were so tight. Like they were just uncomfortable. And I thought that they would be more like the Amazon one where it had like a little bit of stretch to them. They weren't so structured, but no. If you get one from Shemmy or Moo, they're like chiffon. They're definitely like more of a true to size thing. So I should have got like a medium or a large. But I was disappointed because one of them was so pretty. But it's okay. The Amazon one worked out really well. We wore very neutral colors for like the gown portion and we were in lots of greenery so it looked really pretty. Okay so that is the concealer on and then we're gonna move on to bronzer contour which you guys might be so shocked about. This is the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour Bronzer Cream. I'm gonna be using both shades so the first shade I'm gonna use is Fair and the brush that I'm gonna use with it is this one which is the Sigma Conceal Blend Kabuki. I like this one because it has a lot of bristles and it blends it out really well and you have a lot of control but it doesn't like move foundation or anything like that. I have found at least yesterday when I used this product again because it's the first time I've used it since I did that full video on all this stuff. A favorite way to apply it is with a brush. And I just like to kind of stamp it and then blend it out. I've also noticed that Fair on me with like this foundation is definitely more ashy than it looked when I just used it on my bare skin. Just keep that in mind if you're looking into this. But this was kind of like my bronzer contour for the day. So I just kind of went up, stamped it around my forehead. And it did blend really easily. And it looked really good in photos. But this brush is definitely my favorite just because it is more rounded so you can just stamp it on the skin and blend out as you go. I still do have the little caps in the top just to make sure they don't dry out or anything like that. And then I took the shade Light which is a little bit darker and I used this brush which is the Sigma Power Sweep. I just dabbled in here and I used this to contour. And again, I really liked this combo. All I did, once I did powder, which you guys will see, just put a powder bronzer on my cheeks and that was it. Um, but this was definitely good for contour, bronzing, all of that before powder, so. And then I also took this little brush. This is actually a Huda Beauty brush that came in her, what is it? This came in one of her palettes, but um, it's a double-sided brush. I just took this one side and contoured my nose with the shade Light. So we're going down the sides, kind of just doing little pounces, like that. Just a little bit of a shadow, nothing crazy. And then we're gonna set everything. Since I did all that work with like the bronzing and contouring, I did just want a nice translucent powder and my favorite has been this Ilia powder. This is the Fade Into You Soft Focus Finishing Powder. It's really smoothing and it doesn't change the color of anything. Like it doesn't oxidize anything. It just looks really beautiful and soft on the skin and just sets the makeup really well. I'm going to use this on my sponge. And we're gonna go under the eyes and set everything into place. And it works really well if you like did what we just did and put a lot of work into your bronzing and contouring, you know? So it doesn't like completely take it away or darken like the concealer. So that is what the skin is looking like. I am just gonna quickly hit my neck with this. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of bronzer to my skin. This is the Aladdin Collection. Um, your wish is my command. It's just a really nice bronzer. I just popped this on my cheeks with this little Morphe brush. This is the Morphe M518. Really great brush for bronzer, but it just kind of warmed my cheeks up just a little bit more than that Fair one did. Since the Fair is a little bit more 
ashy on my skin. Then I went in with this Bare Minerals Desert Bloom Mini Blush Trio. I love all the blushes in this, but we're gonna mix these two right here, which is That Peach Though and Call My Blush. Super cute names. The brush I'm gonna use is this Dior number 16. Really tap that off and then kind of press it into my cheeks to give me a flush. I really love these blush colors a lot. I also want to use You Had Me at Merlot, which is that darker one, but I think that's definitely more of a fall blush. The other thing I ended up doing is I took this Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette, and I just mixed this light highlight and medium highlight, and I used this underneath my eyes and also underneath my contour line just very lightly to kind of brighten things up. I'm just using this dual-ended hourglass brush, and we're just going to do a little bit of highlight under here to bring some life back but you can see the brightness that it just added I really like the way it looks and it smells so good oh my gosh it smells so good a little bit under that contour line here to add some, some spunk in there and a little bit on the center of the forehead just to help it kind of pop you know so my new favorite highlight recently is this stargazer highlight from melt cosmetics I feel like it packs a punch. Like you look at this and you're like, oh, okay, it looks pretty, but it looks so beautiful on the skin. So I'm going to use my Anastasia brush, it's just the A23, and we're just going to apply that. It's just like such a beautiful, soft highlight that looks really great, even on textured skin. So if you have texture and you've been trying to find like the perfect highlight, I think this is it. This is so beautiful on the skin. Hit like the top of that brow. I bring this pretty far down too since it really doesn't accentuate much texture. I'm gonna put it here and then down the center of the nose. To blend the cheeks, I just take that blush brush and kind of pounce it on the apples and back. And even though this highlight is beautiful and gives you a really nice lit from within look, I did just want a pop of something on my cheeks. So I took this Milani Rose Glow and I took the lightest shade here and I just put that literally right on the center. This is a very intense highlighter so you don't need much. But I just put that right in the center there just so when I turned my face for photos, it popped. But if you're looking for a great drugstore, Highlighter, this one is so good. It's really beautiful, very pigmented. I mean, it looks great on the skin. So that was pretty much my base done, and then I had to decide eyes. So I actually went with more of a mauve theme. This didn't take long at all either. I just used a few eyeshadow colors. This one's a Lorac Pro Eyeshadow 3 palette. It just has um, more cool-toned eyeshadows in here. Really, really beautiful, easy to use. So the first thing that I did is I took my blending brush, and I went in with clay which is this one, we have clay and cool taupe, and I mixed those together, and I just threw them into my crease, and I built them up to really just whatever I was feeling, because I didn't know how much time I would have to have a look, you know? I just kind of threw this in here, all over, and I really love these two colors together too. They create really pretty definition in here. So again, I'm just kind of doing circular slash windshield wiper motions. Anything to get the eyeshadow on quickly <laughs> is what I was trying to do yesterday. And I kind of took a little bit underneath this lower lash line and took it up and out. So you would do the circular motions and then go underneath and just kind of lift up to give the illusion of like your eyes going upward. And then I took this little... A uh, 10 buck brush is what this is called. It's just a little fluffy eyeshadow brush. So the color I use next is Amethyst, which is this one right here. And I'm going to pop that on this brush, tap off the excess, and then I just started to stamp it in this outer V and do little circular motions to bring it in. I kept this more in the outer V, also a little bit into the crease as well because we did take a liquid eyeshadow and put it in the inner part. You just wanna slowly build this up. I didn't have any fallout, but I think that's because I really tapped off the brush because there is a little bit of fallout on this palette. So just make sure you tap it off and you should be fine. And then I went back into that 
really nice blending brush and I took clay which is the lighter of the two with cool taupe and clay which is the first two shades we used and I just went over the edges and made sure everything was nice and blended out you know we didn't want any harsh lines everything to look kind of seamless now what we're gonna do is put on the liquid eyeshadow so I have been really enjoying these Too Faced crystal whips shimmering eyeshadow veils um, one of my other favorites is this shade called turn up which is a gorgeous copper I believe you guys saw me use that in a previous video but today we're gonna be using totally whipped which matches the eyeshadow really well. I like to use this pretty much right out the tube, so I just take it out like this. Has quite a bit of product on the doe foot, but I like to leave it like that. And then I'll just put this in the inner part. First using the flat side. And I get right there by the lower lashes. Then I twist it to where the applicator's like this, and I start taking it up and into the crease. I feel like you have a little bit more control that way because the applicator is a little bit more fluffy. And then to blend that out, all I did was I took a clean 242 brush, which this one's a little dirty now, but I went in and I just pushed this outer half into the eyeshadow and then took the tip of the brush and went right into the crease just to make sure it was all nice and blended. Then I'm going back in with that same brush that we used Amethyst with. And again, we're just going to pop it in the outer V and blend it inwards. Again, you can kind of decide how dramatic you want it. I didn't have it too dramatic. And that was pretty much the eyeshadow look other than us doing our lower lashes. It was really simple. It kind of looks like it takes a little bit longer than it does. But I really like the way that it turned out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to apply lashes and do my brows off camera because it's super simple. So for brows, I did just use my Catrice brow pencils. So you guys have seen me use these before. They're my favorite. They're just the Catrice Slimatic Ultra Precise Pencils in medium and light. And then I'm going to pop on some lashes and I will be right back to wrap up this video for you guys. Okay, so I put the lashes on. The ones that I used are from Lily Lashes from her bridal collection, and they're in Always and Forever, and they looked really, really pretty. They're nice and wispy and full, but they're not too, too, too dramatic. You know what I mean? I have that on, and then I did put on some eyeliner on my lower lash line, which is the Sigma Longwear Eyeliner Pencil, and then we're gonna go in really quickly and do our lower lashes. So I'm gonna take the Flat Definer E15, and I'm gonna go in with Amethyst, which is the color we used in the outer V and I'm just going to pop this right up against that lower lash line and connecting it to the outer V as well and I'm bringing it all the way into my inner corner then I'm going to use a pencil brush from Mac and I'm going to use the shade clay and I will be blending that out I go a little bit on top of it and a little bit below that line just to make sure we really blend this out. Again, taking it out to outer V as well. Last thing that I did for eyes is I used a waterproof mascara for my lower lashes. So I just used this Urban Decay Cannonball. You can use whatever you have. I don't love this mascara, but it works for my bottom lashes. So I just like to put a little bit on there. And that is the eyes complete. We're almost done. We're just going to do lips now. I'm just going to take a natural lip liner. This is from NYX and it's called Natural and line my lips i just went with a nude lip and then i went in with this dominique cosmetics liquid lip in the shade bay and i'm going to put this on so pretty these smell so good and before I headed out the door, I actually used a lip liner that was a little bit darker than the lip color I was wearing. So I'm going to use Rosy Nude, and I just put this on the outer parts of my mouth just to add some definition. So we're just going to do it here. Kind of create like an ombre lip. Then I'm going to use a little bit of this Hourglass gloss in Sublime, which is like one of my favorites right now. 
very last thing for this makeup look, I am going to be taking the Urban Decay D Slick and just setting my entire face. That way, it didn't move, you know, throughout the day at all. Okay guys, so that is the completed makeup look that I used for my maternity shoot yesterday. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and found some new products that you wanted to try. I really loved the way everything looked yesterday and I love the way it looks now. I still look glowy and a little bit smoky, just like myself, you know, you know I love my looks a little bit smoky, but nothing too dramatic. And I like the more pinky and nude lip as well to go along with this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to share with you guys these photos that we took they're just I'm just so excited and I will see you all in my next video bye